So today I'm gonna be canning up some of my dry beans. I'm gonna do it in a pork and tomato sauce. I am gonna be following Ball's recipe to this. I am gonna make some slight adjustments and I'm gonna make it um, a double batch so I can make a full six quarts. Okay, I am one that likes to pre-soak their beans before canning. I do have an example of this. So these are pinto beans that I did last year. This jar, I did raw, well, dry beans. Just stick the dry beans in the jar. And then this one I pre-soaked. I think soaking the beans fills the jar up a lot nicer than maybe doing it with just dry beans. So I like to pre-soak my beans. You can pre-soak these beans overnight if you want. I obviously didn't do that, so I'm gonna do the quick soak method, which is just done on the stove top. We are gonna need four pounds of beans for this recipe. This is double of what the ball recipe is gonna say, but I will link down below the recipe that I'm doing here in the video too. So let's get going. So the quick soak method is just done on the stove top, like I said. All you need is a large stock pot or a little Dutch oven like mine. You're gonna need one big enough to cover the beans with uh, an inch or so of water. So this one should be big enough. So I'm just gonna pour my dry beans in here. First, and then fill this up with water. I do have to dry the bottom of my pots before I get them heated up, but all you're gonna do is bring this up to a boil, let it boil for about five minutes, and then we're gonna shut the heat off and let it stand for an hour. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to this without overflowing my pot. And it's nice and hot. So I'm gonna turn the heat off and then I'm gonna let this soak for an hour. All right, my beans are almost done soaking. So before I make the sauce or anything else, I'm gonna get my canner set up and my jar is soaking in some hot water. This is a pressure canning recipe. So I'm gonna get my pressure canner together. Now my biggest tip I could give anybody for canning anything is to actually follow the instruction booklet to your specific canner. Everybody's canner is just set up differently and so you're gonna just have to use the instruction booklet to use it properly, especially pressure canners. So I have the Presto one. I, uh, I'm not gonna go into how to use it uh, because honestly, it's all in the instruction booklet and you might have a different pressure can. But I'm still, I'm gonna get mine set up. And here are the beans. It is very full. I really should have used a bigger pot. But it is time to strain these out and give them a good wash. Okay, so I have a very large colander in here. I'm just gonna drain them and give them a wash. The original recipe actually asks you to repeat this soaking process again, but only let them soak for 10 minutes. I personally am just gonna skip this. These are, I mean, these are soaked. <laughs> Uh, but if you want to do a book, go right ahead. Okay, I have a second calendar. It's just a few extra. Uh, my days always. I always underestimate the size of food when you're when you're canning. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so the beans are gonna sit off to the side while we make our sauce. First, the original recipe calls for tomato juice. I do not have tomato juice, but I do have diced tomatoes. So I'm gonna pour four cans of diced tomatoes in. Then I'm just gonna use my immersion blender to blend them up smooth. Okay, I don't know how I forgot to film this, but you are gonna need a quart of water in your sauce too. Okay, so that's not technically juice, but it is more sauce-like. Now I'm just gonna add in two large onions that have been diced. Now we're gonna do the salt, sugar, and spices. You're first gonna need a few tablespoons, not tablespoons, teaspoons of salt. <laughs> I'm just gonna eyeball it. Then we're gonna do six tablespoons of sugar. Then the recipe calls, calls for just a pinch of allspice and cloves ground. I do not have that. So I'm just gonna do a pinch of ginger and a pinch of this little mix of spices that I have. Now we're gonna stir it up, let it all dissolve and mix together, taste test it, adjust as needed, and then we will start filling our dish. So dips. it originally calls for salt pork. I, again, don't have that. I do have bacon though. So a half a pack of bacon, I chopped up into just small little chunks. This is coming out really good. I might actually add just a pinch more ginger. So my sauce is nice and hot and it tastes delicious. I'm gonna get my jars out and then the first thing we're gonna do with our jars is layer the beans and the bacon. All right, so all in all, the jar should be about three quarters full of salads. So I am just gonna layer the beans and the bacon just in layers so the flavor of the bacon specifically gets everywhere in the jar. Okay, those are filled three fourths of the way. I have extra beans. I am just gonna put together a seventh jar. My pressure canner can hold seven jars, so that's actually pretty nice. And then any extra beans, I will um, just use in a soup or something later. Okay, I didn't end up with I didn't end up with too many beans, extra beans, which is great. All right, now I'm just gonna ladle the sauce over it and leave one inch headspace. Now you are gonna have to go through and debubble very well. Stir it around the best you can. And then fill as you go too. And now it is time to clean the rims off. I know I made a mess, so I'm gonna use the same water that I soaked the jars, because it was vinegar water. And I'm gonna clean them very well before we get our lids and bands on.
now I'm gonna load the jars up into the canner. The canner should be nice and hot by now. pressure canner is loaded the top is on the first step I'm gonna do is wait for the steam to start venting vent that off for 10 minutes then I'll put my weight on we are gonna do if you did pints it's an hour and five minutes but I did quarts so I'm gonna pressure can this at 10 pounds adjusting for altitude of course for an hour and 15 minutes Okay, so this is the next day. All of them except for one sealed, which is perfect. I'm gonna wash these, label them, and put them down on my shelf. The one that did not seal is in my fridge. Um, I'm actually gonna make dinner with this tonight. I'm gonna make some rice and make a red bean and rice with this. It tastes good. Actually, I'm kinda glad <clears throat> one didn't seal because I was able to taste test it, and it tastes really good. So I'm gonna wash these next, put them on the shelf. I will make sure the recipe that I did to make these quarts is linked down below. Thank you so much for watching.